Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we have lots to do. I see a lot of people are in the chat. Awesome, awesome, welcome. Uh, a lot of people are happy that they made it on time. Chris Yost is here. Robin is here. Judy Quilt was the first one. She gets the number one of the day for sure. I'm starting a little bit early, but that's okay. It just gives people a couple minutes to get in. Nana, hello. Hello, hello. Gia, hello. Oh, all right. NC Lawson, thank you. Show your support. I love that. I love that. That helps so much. I love seeing all the green names and the cute little icons after your name. So if you haven't joined the channel, go ahead and join. There's three different tiers on it. So the first one is just show your support like NC Lawson did, which is awesome. So your name is in a different color and you get a cute little icon. The longer you stay, the cuter the like icons get. Second tier is the digitizing classes, which are different from any other classes you've taken. And it's awesome. Jude Messner, good morning from Miley and me. Hi, Miley. I hope you're being good today. I hope it's nice for you too. Awesome. It's kind of bleak and yucky today. So yes, Edwidge, bonjour, bonjour. Um, Eileen Dover, Barbara, hello, keep chatting away, guys. Aaron Potts, hi, Sue. Leah, hi, Sue. Awesome. Welcome to any new uh, people and especially our new member, NC Lawson. Can't thank you enough. It really helps. I'm struggling a little bit here, but we'll make it. So I wanted to, oh, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. I wanted to show you guys the set of mug rugs. I think I've reclaimed my crown as mug rug queen. So we did this one last week. So then Susan Williams, hey, 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 hey. So look, this one, it's a little bit hard to see. Now you can see it, look at that. That is a uh, seagull prints and the water. Look at that nice motif. Next one is paw prints. Look at that. And this motif is nice too. And I like this one. So paw prints. Love it. Then look, humans, human feet, footprints in the sand with the paw prints because everyone wants to go to the beach. Um, uh, and with their dogs. So there you go. And, 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 and just human footprints. So I'm going to make these all a set. They'll be available separately, but look how cute they look all together. So you can turn them around. You can put the water like that. Jackie Cheek. Hello, Jackie. You could put the water like that. Look, isn't that cute? Or like this. But isn't that a cute set like that? These two particularly go. So yeah, isn't that beautiful? I love them anyways. They are going to go outside in my gazebo. Hi, Jill Scarsbrick says, love, love my nails. They are silver on one hand, gold on the other with lace stamping design on it so yeah beautiful beautiful um yes judy quilt yes if you have questions um because i probably don't see everything you know and answer stuff uh head on over to the oml embroidery university facebook group join up and ask away uh it's a really really great group and it, people have lots of ideas and the whole bit. Julie says, didn't know you had lost your crown. Eh, just in case I did, just in case. I, I just wanted to, 
you know, make some really good ones. And if you noticed, I used all the same fabric and thread colors. So they really do go, you know, match sort of thing. But I'm really happy. Like I said, these are going out in my gazebo. And I think it's going to look great. So uh, don't forget to pick up some of your um, zipper purses. I made a whole bunch of uh, zipper bag designs. I think this one is probably one of my favorites. The little house with all the flowers. That's where I want to live. With the red door. Hmm. Cute. So today is the dime so long. Um, what do the back look like? They are an envelope finish. Good question. Envelope finish. So once you take it off the machine, uh, you just turn it and iron it. Are they up? Not yet. I just finished stitching them all out yesterday. Um, and I had to make some changes, so it takes a little while. Judy Moen says, oh my God, I love the zipper bag. I bought them all. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So Dime, um, I don't know if you guys watched on Thursday. It was so much fun. Uh, it really was being on the show with Eileen Roche and her quilt was gorgeous. And she announced the, uh, you know, project of the month. So I'm going to move this. This is one of the fabrics that we're using. And this is what we're making. And this is really interesting. Um, my brain doesn't work this way. So I can't figure out how it's going to fit. Um, it just the way my kind of like the uh, bobbin case in the machine. What? Why can't they do that? But eh, whatever. So you need um, felt. You need uh, fabric, two pieces of fabric um, and thread. OK, and the felt that I have is the weird felt that it's kind of thin and um, uh, stiff, but it's all I've got. So work with what you got, right? Um, we'll watch the replay from dime. Yes. Somebody in the comments said replay, replay crew here. And she's like, what's that? So I explained it to her. She's like, wow, that's awesome. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You also need some ribbon. Okay. I don't have the right ribbon. So hopefully this is going to work, work with what you got, blah, blah, blah. What we're going to do is go through the instructions piece by piece. So you need, you need fabric 12 by 13. I'm going to try it with a layer cake and let's see enough to fit in an eight by eight hoop. I got that all loaded up and one nine inch square for lining. So the 10 by 10 covers it. Nine inch square of felt for appliques and two 10 inch lengths of quarter inch wide gross gain and no show mass cutaway stabilizer. So that's that's the first two pages. There we go. Uh, Jackie Cheeks has loved catching the live dime show this week. Haven't made it in the hoop needle book and I'm excited for this. Uh, hi, Jesse. Hello. Cindy King. Hello. And Karina. I almost missed you there, Karina. I hope you're doing well. Um, and everything's good with you. This, this is, will, this will be fun. So the first thing you do, uh, when you download it is you print out, this is one page. And what I did just to make it easy, because there's a couple of pieces, I just pinned them to my felt and I just left them like this so I don't get confused as to what they are. Now, this would be um, specifically great if you're doing a whole bunch of them. So um, I just thought this is a good way. Just pin it, cut it. Don't use your good scissors. Make sure you use your paper scissors, which I've got here. So 
and we are going to follow the instructions. So for this one, because it seems a bit complicated and I know everyone was like, oh no, oh no, um, that is too hard, uh, that we're going to, um, you know, just go through it together. It isn't hard. Uh, the first one is a little tricky, but that's okay. We're going to make like a bump in it to, um, so you can put your needles. It's right there. It's that one. So I have everything ready, everything ready. And I have fabric and we're loaded on the machine. So let's go to that machine and I am going to keep my instructions super handy because I want to read them out. So hoop the fabric. Uh, I forgot to do that and ran out of time. So it's just sitting on top with a little bit of spray. Oops, off to a great start. The placement guide for the scissor pocket in um, stitch color one, the placement guide for the scissor pocket. So this one is the scissor pocket. So I'm going to grab my scissor pocket because I know I'm going to need it and it is an outline so what i've got oh bob and police it's a new bob and so we're good uh this is busy fabric if you guys remember i used this for the tulip mug rug i absolutely love it and look how good this turquoise is on it ha i love it but i'm just gonna use black thread and i'm not gonna stitch all the words and stuff just so you know and of course I've got my snap hoop monster and black on the front and black on the back. So my bobbin is black as well. Yeah, when you thread your machine, you have to thread the needle too. Just, you know, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try this again. So I'm gonna take this out and have it ready. So, okay, cool. And now it is gonna do the E stitch around it. So this is pretty easy so far. So we're gonna place it. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but just place it as best as you can. It's pretty good. Hold it, but be careful, please. So it is going to, yeah, there it is, a pretty e-stitch, which is uh, kind of forgiving, as you can see. It's not as bad as you think. Look how the turquoise brings out the turquoise. Love it. So is everyone with me so far? That's the first one. So stitch color three, the placement guide, for one half of the needle pad. So this one is the needle pad, which is right beside it. So let's do our placement. So this is the part that uh, may seem tricky, but it actually isn't. So it's only going to stitch half. Okay, and I'll show you why. Let me zoom in for you guys and then you can see what I'm doing here. So it's just half. So I'm gonna lay it down here and it's gonna do the E stitch. Keep your fingers out of the way. It's gonna do the E stitch for half. Perfect, look how good that looks. I mean, the felt isn't very felty, but it sure makes nice edges, nice clean edges. So once that is done, we are going to do this. This is a cool trick, actually. We're going to fold it back and keep it out of the way. And just be careful. We're going to do the placement stitch for the rest of it. So there's the placement stitch for the bottom. All right, I'm having tension issues there just when it gets started and uh, come on come on and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make it fit so 
we want this bump to be behind behind it's really important if you do it any other way you are gonna uh, not have it how we want so I set it up like this if you were to leave it like this it's not going to look good so let's just move it back and let's do our e-stitch so that's pretty easy isn't it isn't it awesome and now we have a wonderful place to put our pins I love it so that's a neat trick you can see the bump and everything cool so so far it's pretty easy isn't it now at the bottom I am gonna stitch this it's a little measuring tape which I love as usual Sue is great at matching colors <laughs> Oh, I didn't see Lynn is in the house. Hi, Lynn. This is uh, pretty cool. I like this. Uh, for some reason, I never thought of doing a ruler on anything. And it's just going to stitch out the numbers. So that's not too hard to do. The bump, you just have to be a little bit careful. So this is going pretty quickly I think so front cover and back cover is next so we're good so I think that's cool super easy and at the end we're gonna turn it like you do a mug rug cool trick yeah I think it is really cool I, I love this. This is what caught my attention for some reason. And if you have different colors of thread, it would work nicely too. So this bump is where you're going to stick your needles through, which again, cool. Okay, so we want the back cover next. Back cover, I have it marked just to keep everything straight and we're gonna do the placement line same thing and yep i hope uh you guys can see the placement line there's not much that's gonna show up on this fabric however the turquoise looks amazing so that's your placement line and now we're going to place and this stuff is staying nicely still you could use a little bit of tape if you wanted to it doesn't have to be perfect guys but just do the best you can I, I'm fiddling with it a little bit uh, just to kind of get it straight but like I said the uh, e-stitches on this they're, they're quite forgiving so, because as long as you get them on here, the rest of it doesn't show. So it's easy. So this is the back. The back of it. Which is cool. Back of the book. See, black looks really good with the e-stitch too. So is everyone with me so far? Eileen says, what machine is that? Oh, I should have gone over that. Sorry. His name is Captain Jack, and it's a Luminaire 2 upgraded to a Luminaire 3. And I like him. I loved McDreamy, but this guy has a lot of bells and whistles, so and a lot of Disney stuff on it. So same thing for the last piece. So this one and this one look the same, so they're different sizes though. So make sure you don't get them mixed up or else you won't have this cool bump thingy. So I never thought it would be this easy to make a book. I Eileen Roche comes up with the best stuff. And I do have a need to put... Um, needles in my uh, big sewing machine upstairs okay there we go so that part is easy 
placement, this little trick here, but placement and, don't get your fingers caught. Placement, put your uh, felt down. And you don't have to use felt, it's just easier. If I was gonna use fabric, I would back it with something so it's kind of stiff. It'll hold up better. Um, let's see. Awesome news, Judy Quilt. What is the news from Judy Quilt? I missed it. That's wonderful, everyone's saying. Cindy King said wonderful. Uh, awesome. Yes, you are correct. It is Judy Quilt is Illuminaire 2 upgraded to Illuminaire 3. So I'm not going to do the designs on that. It's just not my cup of tea today. It's really cute though. It's a flower. So I'm just going to fast forward through. Um, and we're supposed to use silver on this for the scissors. I'm just going to do the scissors. So I'm going to skip ahead. And this is how you kind of, you know, make the design your own. Uh, the silver would be the needle. So, okay. I'm just going by 10. It's not going super fast. All right. Now we're on scissors, so let's just stitch them. If stuff's there, you could just skip it like that. You don't have to worry about it. Russ is doing better. He even played golf once this week. All right, Mr. Quilt is happening. That is good news. Um, that's wonderful. So make sure you say hi to uh, Mr. Quilt for us and tell him we were all rooting for him, so keep it up. Enjoy. Enjoy the, I always see when I got sick and, and got better that it's a second chance. So I count every day. But the black does look good on it. Silver would have looked right. Kingstar Metallic, now this is the perfect spot for Kingstar Metallic, don't you think? Yes. But I have Tula Pink Special Edition Black and Gold Scissors, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. My Tula Pink Scissors. Yes, I still love my Tula Pink Scissors. So then there is another design, not on here, but on the top one it says, oh, there's more flower stuff, so I'm just going to skip it. I'm just going because... This is busy. Um, I think keeping everything else not so busy is going to work just fine. So it is words, and I'm just skipping it. I'm just skipping it. So now, if you stitched everything out, you'd be fine. And now we're going to do the placement for the ribbon. I am not 100% sure how the thin ribbon is going to work, but we're going to try. So it stitches out a line with a little part that comes out. And the part that comes out, I think, is for the middle. You do want to leave a little excess on the side. Um, but this is so we can uh, tie it up afterwards. So again, watch your fingers, please. So it's meant for um, wider. That seems to be okay though. So you have two pieces. I was a little confused for a minute about that. Like one piece, we hooking it here? No, one piece goes on that side. The second piece is gonna go on this side. Exactly the same thing which is cool. You got your middle marker there. Leave a little bit extra. You could tape this if you prefer. It's probably a better idea for sure. And stitch it in. I'm just kind of holding it. And what I'm going to do, because that seems kind of loose, I am going to go, oh no, I probably don't need to. I was going to go back and stitch it again, but I'm pretty sure 
the outside will hold it together. So now what we want to do is put all of that in the center and we are going to, again, Eileen Roche did hers much neater than I did. So one side, one side. So we're going to put the uh, fabric, the lining fabric, basically face down and stitch it. And believe it or not, that's it, guys. Isn't that cool? So because I'm using a layer cake, this part is super easy. Just be careful of that ribbon, right? We don't want we don't want it to be where it shouldn't be. And I think just by feeling it, I think nope, that was the bump. All right, good thing I checked. Uh you want it to stay in the middle. You don't want it to interfere with anything. So this is going to oh, I unthreaded my guy. Come on, man. Up. Oh. There we go. And make sure you hit the thread button. So I have all these too that I can just use them again. I actually have a drawer for my dime stuff. Like if I print it out, um, it's kind of nice. I like it. So if I print it on the peel and stick paper, like for example, uh, quilting stitches, that uh, it's really nice to just grab it and use again and again and again so many times. There we go. So I am going to rewind and that's the end. We're going to hear the happy music. And because my machine is being uh kind of loose <laughs> the tension i don't know please stop i'm just gonna do it again i'm gonna do it again so that's it guys the the parts that i skipped were simply uh just the designs and i think this one is gonna look better without all the designs i think the tape measure and the scissors is just enough for me. So now we're gonna hear the happy music again. We get to know it twice. We get to hear it twice. So I can take my googly eyes snap hoop monster off. Because believe it or not, we're done. So it seems kind of complicated but it really isn't that you guys have seen that now so i'm going to take it out and i'm going to put my hoop away properly afterwards now i'm gonna take my tulip pink scissors because i love using them there we go see they're black if you didn't believe me now you do and where's the opening there we go we're gonna cut this down uh, just be careful though. You don't want to cut it too close. I'm a little worried because the stitching was a little funny on the tension. It worked. Uh, I did all these yesterday and I didn't have any tension problems. It's probably because he doesn't like getting up early in the morning. The machine I'm talking about. There we go. <laughs> so I hope you guys make this because I really think it's neat I was like oh that is a great technique I especially love the needle part and I'll show you how that works if you didn't quite get it which is fine so and the ribbon is a really nice touch too so I'm gonna leave a, a tab I just find it easier you certainly don't have to but I'm a gonna so now we're gonna fold it out fold it right side out so um patience patience just kind of pull everything patience patience and it's gonna take a little bit of ironing to keep everything flat but it's gonna be cool the big reveal 
dun 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 uh with my tension on occasion i just back it up and stitch it again uh yeah i'm trying to figure out what the problem is um humidity here is my guess um there we go uh, the cutting template was not there. It's there now. I downloaded it yesterday and it is in with the designs. So, uh, cool. This is a really fast project. It is surprisingly, isn't it? And you could, uh, personalize it. The parts that I skipped, you could put their names or what have you on it, whatever you want. So there is a little bit of sewing and I'm not going to do it today, but I'll show you what you need to do. A little bit of top stitching and a stitch down the middle. So, okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there for sure. So yeah, print out the pieces and then you can reuse them. So look at how nicely that ribbon went in. Perfect. And I, I still got to bring my Pokemon down here. Jeez, I keep forgetting. I drive myself crazy sometimes. There we go. Look at that. So I would iron this, but didn't it turn out nice? I love it. I love it. So what you're going to do, see why I do the tab? It just sits nicely. Um, and Dilbeck, yay, welcome, welcome. Yes, the link is in the description of the video. I try to put them there um, as much as I can. I gotta get some help here. This is my quarter inch ruler. I'm just kind of struggling with getting in so far there. Okay, that's much better. So look at that. So what you wanna do is iron it so it's good and fold your, your tab part in and stitch around it and then stitch once down the middle. So look, look at, look at, look at, and that makes the spine of it. So this is the front. How cute is that? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So this is the front. Obviously when it's ironed, I am gonna do it a little bit better. This is the front of the book. The ribbon is just to close it. Oh, I'm in love with this. Um, I love it. Normally Sue does trim the corners. Yeah, I didn't today. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so look at this. So this is for needles. Look at this. So this is what the bump is for. Look how great that holds it. Can you guys see that? Isn't that cool? I think it is awesome. Um, really cute. Now, this is an opening for scissors, and I think my little nom noms will fit in there quite nicely. And back, isn't that cool? So the front, you could put someone's name, and then the back, you could put, you know, a funny saying, the ribbon, I wish I had turquoise ribbon, but what are you going to do? Tie it in a bow. <laughs> Tie it in a bow. Isn't that awesome, though? And I like it. Oh, my nom noms fell out. They're a bit heavy. Um, there we go. So because I haven't sewn anything, I can go back in and do the corners. So the only thing you have to do is top stitch and that'll smooth everything out and make some nice corners that it will be uh nice yeah see they're not actually too bad that one kind of is i will fiddle around with it usually i clip into them i just didn't think it would be because it's only uh two pieces of fabric so i can usually push them out. See, I think that's pretty good. So top stitch it, stitch a straight line down the middle, fold up your book and, um, there you go. Super easy. So that was 
fast. That was really fast and really fun. Um, I liked it. I like doing it. There we go. Front and back. So names. Uh, it'll look better when it's pressed and everything. Isn't that cute? I really like it. I really do, actually. This is my favorite thing. The um, bump. And that was easy to do for, uh, you know, I thought it was more complicated, but once you iron it. So uh, if you have any questions about this, then you guys can let me know in the OML Embroidery uh, University Facebook group. And I'm just going to wrap the ribbon around. If you have prettier ribbon, I think it'll look much better than what I did. But what a great idea. What a great idea. I think it's a great gift. People will be really surprised uh, that you made it. And of course, it says handmade on it. So isn't that cute? I like it wrapped around like that. It feels better. So it's not that hard. Print your instructions. Follow it step by step. It's basically just pre-cut applique and a little bit of sewing at the end and turn it and you can use any colors that you want you can um stitch out you know the designs on it i just didn't want to i kind of like the black and the turquoise so um it's a free project so you guys should just try it it didn't take me long at all and uh it's easier than you think how's that much easier than you think so make yours and post it uh in the group so we can all see and then you can um hashtag it with uh on the house and they will put it up for you great graduation great gift for anything i'm thinking grandma's because if my grandmama was here I would give her this and I'd put grandmama on it and she would be would have been amazed so yeah for sure so those of you who are tier two members I will see you guys at eleven fifteen. so we got a little bit of time and we are going to do some digitizing. If you want to join in on the digitizing fun and ask questions and pick up everything that you can, there's no holds bar. It's different from any class that you had. Join uh, the membership and you can be one of the elites for sure. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you make this. I think it's really cool, really well done, and it's easy for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Get stitching.